time though. Happy Sunday! Welcome to another fu- another wonderful moment on Final Week, where we bring you the best and nothing but the best when it comes to sports. Trust me, you love to say it all because we bring it to you as it happens. Now the transfer news is in us again with Osima back in the news, Kelechi and other other notable players doing major major landing landing serious contract in top club in Europe and all that. But before we go to that, my name is Charles and this is Official Ola. No, official Ola. <laughs> you are welcome on board. Thank you very much. Now Official Ola. On the start side, with Osime, he is facing a lot of crisis right now. What's your take on this, official? Uh, yes, you know, I've reported severally how uh, he wants to leave Napoli yeah. and now Ant- Antonio Conte is preparing for life after him yeah. with the likes of Lukaku, yeah. Tammy Brown being linked with Napoli. Yeah. And um, we we also reported that it was almost and here we go yeah. from um, uh, Napoli yeah. to yeah. Paris Saint-Germain, which we talked about the highs and lows of the transfer. Yeah. Whether it's a backward step or a forward step for him. Yeah. But aside that now, there are news that are circulating that I came out now. We can actually confirm that yeah. the deal is in a cup is a complicated one. Yeah. Being that Luis Henrique, initially I felt Luis Henrique was the one that requested the transfer of Osime, yeah. but now it is, from what we are hearing now, it is a club sanctioned transfer. It's yeah. a club that wanted Victor Osime as a star name, as a star power in the league. That Luis Henrique, now, according to what we are hearing, Luis Henrique doesn't want to work with him. We don't know. We can you understand? We haven't heard from his side, but from our source, yeah. we heard that from his camp that uh, Luis Henrique is not that convinced that Osime is the, is the right star power to replace Kylian Mbappe, not because he fits the system, but he believes that Gonzalo Ramos and the likes of Colomani yeah. can do justice to the, uh, to the, to, to the space left by um, Kylian Mbappe. Yeah. So I think it's a complicated one because yeah. Paris Saint-Germain as a club wants him. We have seen the, the chairman of Paris Saint-Germain, Khalifa, is always on point yeah. wanting players. Aside from Victor Sime, we know that uh, PSG are more like Chelsea. Yeah. The owners are involved in the transfer news other than the coach. Sometimes the coach makes transfers, yeah. but majorly the, the, the owners are involved in the transfers because they are, aside from selling players, they also make use, use them for business, yeah. buying younger players so that they can sell in it one or two years. We can see how Chelsea is doing it, landing these yeah. kind of players, are giving them long, long-term contracts and everything. So I feel uh, the PSG are looking at the, the club owners now are looking at it more of a business side that okay if Osime comes in they have actually replaced the star yeah. Kylian Mbappe left Osime yeah. now in world football now last season he finished eighth in the Ballon d'Or ranking yeah. you understand so they were look the the club owners are looking at him that okay since he has been in the one before they want to bring him as an as an immediate uh, um as an instant slot yeah. back into the PSG but according to uh, uh, some some reports we are hearing that Luis Enrique is not too keen on the transfer. Mm-hmm. If he comes, no problem. But if he comes, no wahala. But he's not actually fighting for mm-hmm. his signature. I think hence the delay in the transfer from Napoli to 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 mm-hmm. PSG now. And that is why they are holding out that okay, they can include players in the transfer and they don't want to match this release clause of 110 million. Mm-hmm. And we are also confirming and hearing news that okay, Napoli with this news emerging from France, Paris Saint Germain, that okay, they are not in hurry. They want to keep him because Saudi Saudi League their transfer transfer closes. I think two three weeks after the yeah. Europe close, yeah. so they, they they so Napoli are confident that regardless if it doesn't go to PSG, they can actually yeah. get full money yeah. from Saudi Arabia. And from what we are hearing from Osimhen's camp is that Osimhen himself doesn't want to leave Europe just yet. He's just twenty five years old. Yeah. You understand with over two hundred career goals, and he feels that okay, he can he has many many things to achieve. Yeah. We know he has won the Scudetto. He has won one or two things in uh, as a journey man in Wolfsburg and the rest but <laughs> i think he wants to win the championship the big prize in yeah. in, uh, in 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 hero following the 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 likes the legends of the harmonike Kano Wanko and the rest. Yeah. So I think it's a major problem now. It's, it's a transfer we need to watch out for because uh, it's more of a battle now like and like we have I actually reported it's only PSG in the, that the club in Europe now that are still interested in Osime. Mm-hmm. So I think it's a tricky one. We can't say for sure. Maybe it was the saga between him and Finini that happened. Yeah, we can't I say for sure. We are only we are only confirming now that PSG that are, that are interested in him now don't want to match his release clause. Mm-hmm. One, don't want to include a player in the, in the swap deal. Mm-hmm. Two, yeah. and they are not too keen. They don't want to negotiate hard. Yeah. You understand? They're just telling that okay, this is our offer for Simeon, take it or leave it. Totally and Napoli yeah. are people that they like to negotiate hard. Yeah. You understand? We can see it from the likes of the players that they sold out to. I think it's a tricky one that we need to keep an eye on. Okay, now future, like, let's 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 deviate a bit from the Simeon uh, uh, situation. Now, okay, let's hear that Joyce in the news again. Senior man cares. Yes. It's about landing the contract of his life. I, I, I won't say of his life because he has played for Man City, he has played for Leicester. Now it's about landing another major contract again. Official, like, what's your take on this uh, uh, senior man cares uh, move? I think it's a big one for Sinoman Kells because yeah. let's not argue the fact. Man City are a big team now. 
Yeah. But if we're talking about history, yeah. culture, rich culture and everything, I think Sevilla is a more bigger club than Manchester City. Yeah. Nobody can argue this because if you look at that track record in Europe, Manchester as it stands now, they only have one Champions League, yeah. one European title now. Yeah. If you look at Sevilla, the way the time they did three times back to back to back yeah. Europa yeah. League, you understand? I think if I can remember, I think they have about four or five Europa Leagues. To, 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 so they have trained stars. So it's not something that we can look down on that move. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy for him because he'll be back in the Champions League now, yeah. whether we like it or not. Yeah. One or two seasons, you understand, mm -hmm. where he can actually make make his name. You understand? You know, from yeah. after he left Manchester City, he went to Le Leicester. It was like yeah. a downhill movement for yeah. him. But I won't, I won't lie to you. The, his transfer to Manchester City was not a bad one because he won the, the FA Cup against Chelsea, yeah. Yeah. you understand, in, in Leicester. So it's not a bad one. He has won the Premier League with Manchester City and won one or two uh, trophies yeah. too. Yeah. Then coming to Leicester, winning the FA Cup. So I think his career is going on, going in the right direction now. Yeah. So with Sevilla, I know you actually do something. So yeah. it's a good one. It's a nice one to watch out for him. And let's not forget Sevilla and black players. Yeah. You understand? Is it is is something that I've actually I, I I used to follow these major clubs in Europe that yeah. supports black players. If aside from Nigerian players, African, African players, players, you understand? Yeah. We have seen over the <laughs> likes of Enesri. Yeah. You understand the the the, the, the I think it's the Algerian guy. You yeah. understand? He just recently left to Fenerbahce to Morio side, but we have seen over the years the the the, the hype around him now. Yeah. And aside from Heat being a good move, I think it's time for him to link up with EduK. You yeah, understand? I'm going to talk about EduK. You, you know, we thought his career is almost dead. Yes. But all of a sudden, he came out of the blue moon and now he's taking us on surprise. We need major things for Sevilla and all that. I think it's a good time for the Super Eagles players because yeah. they are going to bigger clubs. The, yeah. the only problem now we have is the one of Victor Sime. Yeah. So, I, and I think it will get, re get resolved soon after yeah. talking to both parties with PSG yeah. meeting and everything because let's not let's not lie to ourselves. Osime is a big name. So, yeah. Going back to Kelechi and Atua, I think it's the right time to link up with Educa. You understand? I've I've been following Sevilla's page for the last four or five days. I won't lie to you. They post Educa every, every single, single day. day yeah. I don't know the admin of of uh, of Sevilla's Facebook page, yeah. but you see you see captions like Agbabola. Agbabola. You see uh, <laughs> this thing like men the men mouth. All that. Ah, who is the <laughs> who, who, is, exactly <laughs> the who is the who is the um the admin yeah. to that facebook page just yeah. to show you how they rep him you understand in the last friendly two days ago he was crowned the man of the match against ali tihad that they played the friendly and they won so i think educate and ian Acho will do justice and not because of uh educate staff uh, educate playing style but because of ian Acho, because yeah. everybody wrote him off me personally i was thinking that after leicester is he going to the championship so it's a good one like i said we need all our players in playing the top league before the the qualifiers we have so much to play for we can't just say we're not going to the world cup yeah. you understand but if they start playing you understand as players once you start playing form comes yeah. you understand so that we get ready for our, our world cup qualifiers and african qualifiers coming in september and next year respectively so okay. i think it's a good one for 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 for, for kelechi and Acho. okay now officially on the start side we lost one of our major personnel in the mplf league i'm talking about the person of uh, senator ifan yuba who passed out yesterday it was a very sad one very very sad one yeah it's a sad <laughs> one my condolences go to his family yeah. um his friends because the sad one uh i can't imagine that because my dad is still alive and everything so i can't imagine the pain the kids yeah. are playing aside from aside from that i think he's a good ambassador of yeah. football in nigeria you understand having a football team in nigeria yeah. and i've seen over the years how his, his club export players outside both yeah. to the tanzanian league yeah. and many other leagues so i think the players will actually miss him yeah. and my my condolences go to them and we pray so rest in peace. All right, thank you so much, Official It's wonderful having you on set. I'll rest in peace and it's you fine. You buy is a major blow to the family. And that's our time on final. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you feel about Kilechi and Acho. It's a major transfer. In the comment section, I'll follow us for me at final. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.